Ooh-wee. I don't know how it is where you guys are, but here in Milwaukee, it is sweltering. I am sweating like a pig. I don't actually know, do, do pigs sweat a lot? I, I, I don't know. But what I do know is what's gonna cool me down. And that is some cheap frickin' bourbon. Part two of $15 or under bourbons starts now. Let's go. Now, when I started doing this, I thought I was just ripping off my good friend, Trev, the bourbon wrench. Uh, I thought I was just kind of stealing his idea, but taking it down to the bottom shelf. Turns out, I just found this out, I'm actually stealing this idea from the one and only Fred Minnick. He did a stream just like this a while back, $15 under bourbons. But if you're gonna steal something, you might as well steal from one of the best known people in Whiskey Dome. Plus, I'm doing 14 bourbons, he only did 12, so, you know, I like to think I got one over on him. No, I don't mean that. I'm sorry, Mr. Minnick, you're great. Anyway, this is part two of my blind flight of bourbons that cost $15 or less for a fifth. You can go check out part one over here, over there, somewhere, somewhere. Go watch it, go check it out. But for those of you who don't have the time or inclination to go watch that video, even though I've made it so easy for you, I'll give you a little lowdown on what I'm doing. It's 14 bourbons, originally 13, but I'll explain what happened there. They all cost under $15 for a fifth locally, and I haven't included anything with flavoring. My wonderful girlfriend, Erica, has poured them for me. They are labeled A through G, and I'm gonna drink them blind, and then I'm gonna pick which one I like the best, and I'm gonna match it up against the winner from last times, which, if you'll remember, was Ezra Brooks. I did mention we had a secret 14th competitor. Well, my man, Pat. Pat, you know I'm who you are. You're awesome. You're sweet. You're great. You're fantastic. Happened to see last time's video, and he was like, hey, you should really have Heaven Hill Green Label in there. So he gave me a sample of Heaven Hill Green Label just to have in this show. That's awesome. Thank you, this is gonna be fun. But yeah, Heaven Hill 6 Green Label is in the running. But let's also meet the other six competitors for Heat 2. Bellows Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Very old Barton at 86 proof. Now, I gotta say this was kind of one of my favorites coming into this. Let's see if it does as well as I think it will. Benchmark, old number eight. Of course, from the good people at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Kentucky Choice, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. J.T.S. Brown, another one that I think uh, might do pretty well, but uh, I've been wrong before. Old Charter, another one of those bourbon whiskeys coming to us from the old Sazerac. And like I said, of course, the aforementioned Heaven Hill. All right, what is what is in this envelope? I'm not gonna open that until I'm done, but while I'm drinking, you are gonna see what it is I am drinking. Cool, I got my little notepad so I can take notes. Let's get down to it. All right, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start with letter A. Letter A smells pretty nice. It doesn't have that thin plasticky smell that you get sometimes on a cheap whiskey. This is more nutty, I would say. Maybe a touch of caramel there, a little bit of spiciness. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Little nutty, touch of fruit, just a little, little itty bitty fruit there. Kind of a light cherry. Yeah, yeah, pretty standard, pretty standard bourbon notes. I will say that nuttiness carries through on the taste very nicely. Just a hint of a peppery thing, but it's not really spicy. It's, the taste is a little thin, it's not like the biggest, most thick thing, but I'm not really expecting most of these to be super heavy in terms of taste. All right, let's check out B. B, I will say, I think is already quite a bit sweeter than A. More of a candy corn thing, more of that caramel. Kind of a fakey fruit thing. I guess like, uh, you know how the flavorings they put in cotton candy? <laughs> kind of like that, but without all the, you know, cottony goodness. You know the French call cotton candy Papa's beard? 
Yeah, it's weird. I mean, whatever, do you, France. But it's a little strange. You know, the taste is pretty much just sweet things, like I said. It's a little sweet. I guess I get a touch of a peanutty thing there. But it's it's not got the nuttiness of A. It, it's got no nuts compared to A. A. A has all the nuts. This one runs more sweet, more fruity. More so than A did. All right, let us see. I was gonna say sunflower seeds. But sunflower seeds dipped in like vanilla extract. Kind of like vanilla extract, sunflower seeds, maybe a touch of something eh, slightly floralish in a weird way. Taste isn't bad. Taste isn't bad. None of our first three really have like a lot of oakiness. The wood spice. You know, the big thing. And then they're not tannic and they're not that spiciness. They're really light and easygoing. Yes, you know, generally I kind of expected this to be. This one is actually, I think, even lighter. This is kind of running into that strawberry starburst thing. Yeah, I compare whiskey to starburst a lot. I realize that. I guess I just really like starburst. Okay, letter D. I gotta say, there's not as much going on with letter D. The nose just isn't jumping out at me like the other ones did. It's just not popping. The things I'm smelling I like well enough. There's just not a lot of them there. It's just very okay. It's very okay. You know, nothing offensive, but just kind of there. Tastes a little oaky. It's got a little caramely. It lasts for a decent amount of time. It doesn't taste that special though. It's all right. How about E? Now last time E was a stinker, which made me mad. Because I'm Ed, and an E is obviously the beginning of my name. So I want E to be good. Hopefully, Erica poured me something good in E this time. Woo! That is sweet. <laughs> Damn. I know what I was saying. The other one reminded me a little bit of like that cotton candy flavoring. But it wasn't like as sweet as this one just straight up smells. This is like fakey smelling. Like a really fakey cherry. Like a, a cherry, the teeth polish that they put on your teeth at the dentist. Yeah, like that. Red licorice. Reminds me of red licorice on the taste. Red licorice and like, lemon heads. Wow, why is this? This one's really reminding me of candy. For someone who might like a sweeter bourbon, uh, you might like this. I don't think this is my jam though. I don't think this is my jam. All right. What about F? Oh, all right. F's coming with it. F's coming with it. Yeah. Now we're back to that nuttiness. This guy is got some nuttiness. This guy's got a little spice, got a little bit of that clove, got a little black pepper, just a touch. It's not a rye by any stretch of the imagination, but it's got a little bit more spiciness. That's the kind of shit I like. Mostly though, it's got that Big nuttiness, I would say. Kind of an almondy thing. I dig it. I dig it. Let's see about the taste. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right now, I think F's the front runner. I like that one. It's, it's, it's a little stronger. It's got a little bit more spice. Got that nuttiness. I'm digging it. All right, and last but not least, this is G. Let's see what's going on. Oh, coming on the heels of F, this is a little disappointing. We're kind of back to the, just kind of fluffy, sweet, caramely vanilla on the nose. It's not really got a whole lot going on. It's just kind of sweet. It's nice, it's fine. I don't hate it, it's fine. It's not as unctuously sweet as E. It's not as cloying, so that's good. So, time to go ahead and rank these. Again, I'm going to do them from worst to best, and you'll see them before I know what they are. Damn, I'm getting sweaty. It is warm in this motherfucker. Coming back to A, I'm, after having the rest of them, giving it a little sniff. There's a cinnamon note I get on this that wasn't there before. 
and I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. That just moved A up a little bit in my mind. All right, so I know which one is in last. It's E. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it smells like strawberry yogurt to me. <laughs> just way too sweet, way too sweet. So E, I'm gonna put in last. I think in second to last, it's gonna be D, okay? D, not because it's bad. I'm just not getting a lot off of it. The other ones were more flavorful. They're bigger. This one's fine. It's just not flavorful. It's not big. It's subdued. It's shy. This one's just too shy for its own good. This little wallflower of a bourbon. Come out and say hi, little buddy. Come out and say hi. All right. I think B and C are going in the middle. I'm having a hard time deciding where they should go in relation to each other. I'm gonna put C in third to last place. That means B beat it. Those guys are kinda of in the middle. They're all right, I don't hate them. But I don't, I don't think they're gonna quite beat these guys. G is coming in third. I like G, it's solid. But F or A is gonna be the winner. F wins, <laughs> hands down. It, so, A comes in second, F is in first. Yeah, yeah, there was no competition there. Not with that fella. Uh, F, F definitely came in first. Let's see what each was. Or, you already know, I'm gonna find out. You guys know. Let's find out for my edification. Okay, last place was E, Benchmark. Wow, okay, Benchmark came in last, god damn. Uh, D was Bellows. I'm not that surprised about that. C was Old Charter. Oh man, Sazerac. Sazerac's all at the end, huh. B, Kentucky Choice. Kentucky Choice coming up a little higher than I thought it would. Good for you, Kentucky Choice. G, very old Barton. Okay, my guy placing pretty well, I will say. A, JTS Brown, all right, JTS taking it over. Very old Barton, okay, all right, JTS, good on ya. And F, Heaven Hill. Wow, Pat, you gave me a ringer, in, you gave me a ringer here. This guy came out of nowhere and blew up, blew away the competition, just blew him away. Damn, damn, so yes, if it weren't for Pat, we would not have our winner tonight, which is Heaven Hill. But the Heaven Hill was only the winner of Heat 2. Now it's time to put Heaven Hill versus Ezra. We're also gonna do this blind. I'm gonna have Erica pour him, so I don't know which is which. I'm gonna take a minute, decompobulate my palate, and then be back to you. All right, obviously we're back. You can tell that time has passed because my hair is getting sweatier and more ridiculous. It's like 90 degrees here in Milwaukee. I can't deal with it. I know that you Southern guys probably think that's nothing. This is torture for me. All right, head to head, Ezra, Heaven Hill. Let's see what's happening. Erica has gone ahead and poured these for me again. A versus B, nice and easy this time, keeping it simple. Let's start with A. See, the problem when you get down to two is like, I kinda get the feeling I might know what this is. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I mean, I very well could be wrong. Like I say, I'm wrong a lot, but I kinda think I know what this is. A, peanut oil, you know, a uh, little caramel, touch, touch of the spiciness. Just a little black pepper. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. B. B is just way, it's way more. It's just got so much more going on. A, peanutty and, and a little spicy, a little caramely. B, man, B's cool. It's like jasmine or something. That spiciness. It's really cool. There's really no competition here. B. B wins. B wins. Hands down. It's it's just so much better. It's so good. God damn. It's fruity, it's it's a little sweet, but it's got that 
cool, what was I saying, jasmine-y thing? I don't get jasmine on a lot of whiskeys, but that's like kind of the spice I'm getting here. Jasmine rice, it's good, it's really good. So yes, B is our winner, what is B? Ezra, and A is Heaven Hill. <gasps> I thought that was backwards. What? I mean, I guess Heaven Hill's known for being nutty. But I definitely thought that that green label was going to take the day. And I mean, that's just kind of nutty too. But holy crap. Really? Goddamn. B wins. Ezra wins. I didn't see that coming. I definitely thought this ringer over here was gonna take the day. Goes to show you, power of suggestion can mess with you. This is why I did it blind. This is why I did it blind. Fuck yeah. So in my opinion, best bourbon under $15 done in this very, very scientific-ish blind taste test is Ezra Brooks. How about that? Neat. So that has been the Rock Up Review. I'm gonna go stick my head in the freezer for a little bit. Until next time, all of you, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit, and stay rotten. <laughs>